Good evening and welcome to my second video with regards to Celebration. As you know, Celebration is a promotion that Stampin' Up! does every year from January to the end of March and you can earn free products on orders of £45 or um, £90. Um, we've already had um, a first release of um, Celebration products, one of which I showed you on the video yesterday. And today I thought I would um, just show you the second release products. Um, really focusing on some papers. So um, just looking in there, we've got fl flowering foils, speciality design, a series paper. And they've got rose gold and silver foils um, in the designs, which um, are absolutely gorgeous. Now these papers just won't look as good as they are in your hand on screen. Um, they are really, really nice. Can you see that that sheen on there from the gold foil and silver foil? Um, they're single-sided. They're a bit more um, thinner than our normal um, designer paper. And you're getting 12 sheets, three of each, four designs. So this is the beautiful flower design. Then we have the lines. They're sort of like track lines, aren't they? Making sort of squares and things like that. This one is a silver, and they're like silver flowers. Okay. And then this one is one of my favourites. This is just like sort of what I call ditzy flowers and they're all over. So again, that's with the copper and the, um, sorry, the rose gold and the, and the silver going through that. Okay, so they're absolutely gorgeous. So we'll get rid of those. So tonight I'm going to do it a bit differently. I'm not actually going to sh show you how to make a card. I'm actually going to show you techniques with, with the foils. So first of all, I'm going to bring in the beautiful flower paper. And then I've got inks, which are Rocco Rose. Let's open that up. And Mint Macaron. Okay. So using a sponge dauber, so it's like a little sponge on the end of a plastic fingertip, so you put it on your finger, okay. You can then go into your ink and then just go over, I'm just doing the leaves to start off with, and you're just putting that, or spreading that ink where you like it. You can go back in and make it darker. If you don't want it as dark, don't re-ink your dauber. So it's a bit more lighter. You could actually, if you didn't want to do the flowers and the leaves, you could go around the background and do the background. So I'll leave it like that for the leaves and then I'll just go in with the um, Rocco Rose just to do some of the flowers. Okay. You can always add ink if you want more ink for shading. I'll just do one more. So I'm going to go quite dark in the middle. And then I'm just moving that ink to the outside edge, which is making it softer. Okay, I'll just do that one as well. Trouble is, is once you start, you just want to continue. Okay. But you get the, the idea of what I'm doing. You don't really want to see me do all that. Okay. So, let's shut those up for the moment. So, I've already done a card, which, I'm, um, which I made yesterday. 
So I've done the dauber technique on, on the background paper. I've also um, used a little cotton bud and I've done the little buds in petal pink. Then using the um, foil that's got the silver behind it, I've put it behind a, um, a pearl um, doily. And then I've cut out um, with fussy cutting the flower and stuck those on, um, giving it a bit more dimension. And then the, um, the sentiment, that is from Sending You Salts um, Celebration Stamp Set. So this is a £45 um, qualifying order set. What I, um, I have done with the cards that I've used, I've tried to use different celebration sets so that you can see them in action. Okay, so this one's got loads of um, different occasions um, greetings on there, which is really good. And they are um, a red rubber stamp. Okay, so I'll just bring that card in again. Okay, so that's our first first paper and our first technique. The next paper I'm bringing in is the um, the lines, and again I'm using Rocco Rose ink, and I'm using a brayer. Now this is a sponge brayer. You get two handles and you get four um, sponges, and then once you've finished with it, you just rinse it under a tap of water, and that will clean clean it, and then you just air dry it. Okay. So for this technique, you will need some um, scrap paper underneath or grid paper like I've got. Um, so what you're doing is, is you're just rolling that roller in your ink, making sure that you get, get loads of ink on there. Then I'm just going to move the paper or yeah, the paper off slightly. And then I'm going to roll off the paper and then bringing it all the way down as far as you want um, with the ink and this is going to give you an ombre um, look so each time you go down just don't go down as far and then so it will be very very dark at the um, the start of your card getting lighter the reason why I'm starting off the um, off the paper and on my scrap is because you don't want a rigid line at the beginning. If I went on directly, you're going to have um, a sort of a line like that, where you can see you just want it all softening in together, giving it um, an ombre effect. Okay, and you can. Keep going as dark as you want it. It's up to you. If you want it the same colour all over, you can do that as well. Okay, so let's just bring that up to you. Okay, which is gorgeous. Very quick to, um, background technique. Now, I have done a card and I'm not sure what I've done with it. Oh, right, I've put all the papers on top. So the card that I've made is this one and this is using the Gangs or Mia. So if you know of anybody that loves meerkats or perhaps you like them yourself. So I've lay, lay, um, layered them on a, a petal pink terracotta tile and whisper white um, layering and stitched layered um, square dies. Then I've stamped the meerkats in and I've um, watercolored them using the inks in the, the ink pads. If I just show you with this ink pad, if you squish them together when they're closed like that, you do need a bit of welly and then you get, it transfers the ink into the lid. Alternatively, if you've got the um, refills for the ink pads and pens, you can just put a little drop of, of the, um, refills in there and then you just use it like um, a paint palette with either an aqua pen or or a, um, a water 
paintbrush, that's, that's the word, paintbrush um, and some water. But of course you could also colour it in using pencils and pens or your blend pens. I fussy cut the, um, I'm thinking cucumber, but it's not cucumber, cactus, that's the word. <laughs> I don't know why cucumber's jumping into my head, but there you go. And um, the cactus and then the little lizard and then I've stamped um, the happy birthday from all of us and cut that out with the classic label punch. Okay, so that's made a really, really nice card. Let's just bring in the stamp set so you can see the, the stamp set. So you've got the group of meerkats, the one popping up, uh, one standing up, the lizard, you've got party hat and the different sentiments. So that's a really good one. And again, that's a £45. £45 pound qualifying order. Okay, so the next one I've got, let's just turn that over, is the um, silver petal paper. And for that, I've used blends now. What did I do with my blends? Aha, uh -huh. here they are. So I've got petal pink, got the dark one and the light one. They're alcohol pens, so if you're using them, you need to be careful and make sure that your lids go on regularly and they are snap tight. Sometimes they are a bit awkward to get the lids off, but um, that is a good thing in a way because your the alcohol will dry, dry out. But, okay, um, so you've got two ends to your pens. You've got the bullet point okay and you've also got a brush tip okay so to begin with we're going to use the bullet point and then you're just colouring in in the petals okay Now, because each flower or each petal makes up another flower, you can either do them all in one colour or you can mix and match. So I've done the light ones and now I'm doing some dark ones. Okay. So you could have this one as a dark one. It's really up to you how you want to colour these. If you don't want to colour the petals, you could just colour in between and, and have like a, just the background showing. That would be good as well. If you're very artistic, you could actually do a bit of shading. I'm not very good, so just bring in bit of dark on the light. You can go over the darker ones that you've already done. That would give it a little bit more darker. So it's up to you how you how you want to do that. But that's the that's the effect you're getting. Okay. So that's that. And the card that I made with those papers as you can see I've done the light and I've done the dark and then I left some bits uncoloured so it's just a bit random. Again I've used the Rocco Rose card, Whisper White um, and that's on the stitch label dies I think that's called and then I've used another celebration set called Happy Birthday to You. So it's called this gorgeous cake um, the happy birthday to you and celebrate and some um, dots or splats. Um, they also released some coordination um, products. So if you want to have your happy birthday set for free, you can then also buy some um, coordinating dies. So you've got the... Um, got the cake and the stand and then you've got this lovely stand die 
some flowers to cut out the flowers and some foliage. Okay, I think that is 26, 27 pound. Okay, so if we just go back to the card. So I've cut the the um, the stand in copper foil. I've die cut the flowers and I've coloured those in with the ink from my um, pads and water water brush. Okay, then I've mounted those on 3D foam. I put some silver thread behind. Just see if you can see that. And I've got some foliage which I've cut out with the, the foil as well. And then I've just finished it off using some from Petal Pink Gems on there as well. So that's a really nice, really nice set to have. Okay, so that's that one. Then finally, with the um, Ditsy flower set, I haven't actually done anything with it. It's so pretty. I thought I would leave it uncoloured, but again, you could use any of the techniques that I've shown you um, on this paper as well, but I just think it's beautiful. What I have done is I've used the Power of Hope celebration set, and with that you get this beautiful stamp set, I Love Anything Oriental. So this was one of the first sets that I got. Um, so you've got the Geisha Girl, uh, the bonsai tree and a temple, a lantern and some some sentiments there. And then also with that set you get this lovely embossing folder uh, which is called Stone. I'll just bring that up to the camera. Hopefully you can you can see that there. Okay, so let's just go back to the card again. So what I've done is I've stamped the Geisha Girl onto the um, foil paper. I did have to go over with a blend pen for the detail on the kimono because it wasn't showing um, because of the design. So I just went over with a black um, blend pen. And um, so I fussy cut that out, uh, fussy cut the whole image out and um, did the same with the temple. And then I just used strips. I haven't used a full um, foil backing. I've just used two strips just go behind the poking out behind the the um, DSP, and then again used one of the sentiments from that set. And you'll see on the whisper white that that's the stone embossing folder. So you can you can see how lovely that is. Okay, so that's my um, four cards and the four DSP. Now the reason I've used the Rocco Rose um, colour is that there is a third release from um, Stamping Up on Celebration and these items are from the annual catalogue. So on there we've got the red rhinestones, the mini shipping boxes which are really cute because they've, they've got the Stamping Up logo on there, um, Follow Your Art Designer Series Paper, Dinosaur Designer Series Paper, Woven Threads Designer Series Paper. Now the Woven Threads is a 6x6 six six, um, paper, whereas I know the Dinosaurs is 12x12. 12 12. I'm not sure about Follow Your Art. I haven't got that one. But the Woven Threads is also all the colours from the In Colours, um, which includes the Rocco Rose and Terracotta Tile. You've also got Shimmer Detailed Laser Cut Speciality Paper, and Rocco Rose Blend Combo. Now that's why I use the Petal Pink. I don't have Rocco Rose at the moment, but when my order goes through, I will be adding those um, as a free product product on my order. Then they're all £45 qualifying um, items. And then for £90 qualifying order, you've got the Butterfly Duet Punch and the Wild, Wild Rose Dyes. Okay, so, just to recap, Celebration is finishing on the 31st of March. So up until then, you can get your free products, um, which is really good. They've got some really stunning stuff in there. You can have a look on my online shop um, at all the products. And um, I will also be putting online my um, hostess code. So if your order is under 
£150, then please do use that hostess code. If your um, order is £150 or over, you will be the hostess, so you can get even more free um, products. Um, if your um, wish list is over £99, then please get in contact with me. I should be doing a video tomorrow about um, how you can get £130 worth of products plus extras and the extras are really really good um, just for £99 so I'll be talking you through that as well but anyway that's it for now I hope you have a nice evening and I hope you've enjoyed the products for today and I look forward to joining you tomorrow thank you bye